The iconic Dragon Fist Ultimate attack from Super Saiyan 3 Goku was revealed in the Wrath of Dragons movie on the new giant movie villain of the time, Hurudagon. And not only is the Nightmare Monster a fan favorite in the hit Budokai Tenkaichi series, but he's also one of the harder enemies to deal with thanks to his darkness eyes that allows him to dodge any attack for several seconds on activation. And this basically rings true to the way he fought in the movies as well, because this character was completely unhittable, but how will they implement this unique feature with this giant character in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero? Hello everyone, it's me again, Steed OJ here, back to more Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, and this time on Sparking Zero, I just wanted to talk about some giant characters in general. Now, obviously, I think characters like Metal Cooler Core have a good chance of getting into the game as a giant character, but those are more so movie characters rather than specifically a giant character. Um, I think first I'll spend my time talking about Hurudagon, because that makes the most sense. He's, you know, Hurudagon's probably the most popular giant character, like literally Janemba's not more popular than him despite facing Gogeta, but Hurudagon is probably the most influential giant in Dragon Ball, the one that people think of the most, and that's mostly because of the super iconic Dragon Fist that also appears uh, in his movie. Now, if Hurudagon does end up in the game, I want to know, will he actually finally be a transforming character? Keep in mind, Hurudagon basically has three stages. While I don't expect the lower half to end up being a, a character, because, you know, that's ex extremely dumb, I do, <laughs> I do expect his first form to potentially actually be a character. We know Dragon Ball games haven't actually been paying attention to the existence of first form Hurudagon recently. Dokkan did actually release a Hurudagon unit that appears in his first form, then transforms into its final form. Now, yes, Dokkan is a mobile game, but you have to remember that mobile games make the money for Dragon Ball. I crap ton of money for Dragon Ball. So when a mobile game does something and people receive it well, I think for console games will also go, well, it's best we do this because this makes money, so why not, right? Um, I do think First Form Harudagon has a chance to end up being in a game, and you could just make his moveset more melee dependent than Final Form Harudagon, who, like, you know, breathes key blasts and breathes fire breaths and has, like, a giant explosive wave and all that cool stuff, you know? Um, I think you can actually differentiate the two forms. And Final Form Harudagon better play the way he did in Tenkaichi 3, because, oh my god, Final Form Harudagon, or Harudagon in general, I guess, was just one of the more, f uh, I want to say funny, but, like, scary is probably more accurate. Uh, Harudagon was, he was like most other giants in the game, he was really slow. He wasn't like Grape Baby, who's really quick, and then is also a giant character. Harudagon was pretty slow, but he made up for it by having attacks that were, like, pretty much unavoidable from certain distances. Like, his main key blast, um, his super key blast, the one he shoots with his beam breath where he drags from side to side, and super explosive wave were practically undodgeable because they just hit too many times or just covered too much area. On top of the fact that his ultimate just has a giant amount of ranges and unblockable, but that's not important. The real scary part of Rudagon is actually a single skill, Dark Eyes, and this is also a skill he uses, you know, in a Dragon Ball Z movie as well. It's a skill that lets him basically dodge any attack, Ultra Instinct, the other, the other, right? He could spam that like crazy in Tenkaichi 3, and in Sparking Zero, the skill counter builds so much quicker. I'm sure he could spam it much, much more. So I'm curious. I think Rudagon actually has the potential to be more broken. Will he ever reach Great Baby level? We'll have to find out because I'm pretty sure Great Baby has Explosive Wave, which is already a meta move in Sparking Zero, so we'll just have to wait and see. And hopefully whenever they do reveal a giant character, we actually do show, like, you know, super attacks and ultimate attacks working on these said giant characters, because in Sparking Zero's beta, or I guess it's demo, that's been out so far, all the demos of Sparking Zero released actually don't have uh, Dragon Fist, a good example, is a move that Obviously, Goku beats Harudagon with. If you know who Harudagon is, you know who Dragon Fist is. They basically exist like two peas in a pod. Um, so, seeing Dragon Fist not work on Great Ape Vegeta, who was a giant character, is kind of uh, unfortunate. Because it means that if Rudagon does end up being in Sparking Zero, Dragon Fist wouldn't work on him either. Despite being the move that literally kills the character and it's like, it exists alongside Harudagon. In fact, I don't who, how many other people have like lost to Dragon Fist or taken damage from it, right? Maybe a few of the Shadow Dragons from Dragon Ball GT. And I guess you could count uh, old Piccolo, right? Demon King Piccolo. He lost to like a more like a classic Goku version of Dragon Fist. But the real Dragon Fist, the Super Saiyan 3 Dragon Fist, the one everyone thinks about when you say Dragon Fist, that move does not work on giants in sparking zero now again it could be placeholder because great vegeta is the only giant in the game so far that you can play as and it wouldn't make too much sense to allocate too many resources to making sure one single move works on him right now but i am hoping in a full game that again super attacks do work on giant characters because in tenkaichi 3 or the previous tenkaichi games certain super attacks and ultimate attacks even if they were melee supers and ultimates did in fact actually work on giant characters Another good example is Trunks' Heat Dome attacks. 
also works on giant characters because he would grab them by like their finger and throw them up in the air and hit them with you know heat dome attack so there even um super attacks it didn't it didn't have to be an ultimate attack there were even some melee supers that worked on giant characters in the game so i'm actually uh, i'm hoping that they change this uh, by the time you know again rudigan gets added to the game because it'd be very unfortunate if we couldn't hit him with dragon fist you know what would be even more unfortunate if 17 couldn't use his stuff like berry explosion on annie laza or hell if gohan can't even do the beast kick to sell max that would be super depressing so i'm pretty sure they'll change that by the time the full game actually comes out I am kind of more curious as to giant characters how we haven't seen before might perform. Like, we still have Annie Laza, who's, like, completely new, and he was confirmed for the game, so uh, pretty much, like, most people are going to be in the game once they start adding characters like Annie Laza and Bergamo and all of Rebrian's sisters. So that's that's pretty cool, but I'm curious how Annie Laza is going to form, because he should technically have wings in his transformed state, unless if it's, like, a power-up, like Blue Evolution and Blue Kaioken. But Annie Laza is... You know, he, he, he has all of his moves already, seemingly, from uh, the showcase we got in Fists vs. Swords. However, I would like to see him with his wings on regardless. Uh, we also have characters like Fat Jinemba. I don't know if they're going to change the way he works in this game from Tenkaichi 3. But in Tenkaichi 3, he lost health when he turned into Super Janemba. Now, obviously, that was for a balance reason, because if he was a giant... Like, if Super Janemba had giant character health, he'd probably be one of the more annoying characters to try and beat in the game. So I can kind of understand that. That one makes a little bit of sense. But then we have characters like... Again, like, he's only an ultimate Tenkaichi, uh, to my knowledge. But characters like Metacooler Core should should be, like, OP. Because he's just Metacooler, but giant. Um, I have a hard time believing they can make him bad. Again, I don't I don't know if you actually end up in the game, right? Because we haven't even seen regular Cooler or Metacooler um, have any appearances or cameos in any of the trailers or anything. So, I can't I can't put all my eggs in one basket and say, Master Cooler Core will definitely end up in the game. But if he does, I can imagine he'll have the, the obvious moves, such as an energy draining move or, like, a health draining move. Maybe something where he gains, like, stats after he takes a bit of damage. Or anything to do with adapting, really. Like, that's the whole Master Cooler, like, shtick, right? You hit them once and then they learn everything from it. So, I wonder if the Master Cooler Core is going to be a transformation for Master Cooler or if it's just going to be a different character altogether. Either way, um, I'm curious to see uh, how they'll do other giants. Again, other giants that haven't really been seen in games before cell max is a good example right like cell max is way smaller than like most of the giants in dragon ball so i'm kind of curious if they'll actually make him like size accurate or if they'll just say screw it he's the same size as a great ape um uh, either way cell max is gonna probably join great ape baby when it comes to giant characters who are ridiculously quick um and probably have giant aoe moves that are really hard to avoid because they're huge and they're quick so yeah i, I, I could see cell max being like probably like an easy eight tier and above character um, alongside, you know, obviously Great Baby again. So, yeah, um, uh, I, I just want to know in general how a lot of these characters are going to work because we haven't seen anything about Giants, but I know we'll only get to see more after the Cell Saga versus Future Saga trailer. That one's definitely the next trailer because, again, they showed Cell recently. They showed Cell gameplay recently on Twitter, and they did actually take that gameplay down. So, um, they probably weren't supposed to post it this early. That's from the official Dragon Ball Games account, by the way. They probably weren't supposed to post it that early. It was probably supposed to come after the trailer announcement so i think we'll get the trailer very soon probably like on the weekend or something just before the month ends we'll probably just get the trailer um but either way i think that's a probably a good place to end the video again i just want to see how giant characters like harudagon are going to get done if they're finally going to let giant characters be uh, hittable by melee supers and ultimates but that will be uh, a good place to end the video i do hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you enjoyed the video and obviously again please leave a like on the video don't forget to subscribe it really supports the channel and leave a comment down below as to what you'd like to see next love you all i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you all next time take care and uh Peace.